Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Shri Shri Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman Ki Jai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. being prayed for by the demigods, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Absolute Truth Himself directly appeared with His expansion and expansions of the expansion. Their holy names were Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, and Shatrugna. These celebrated incarnations thus appeared in four forms as the sons of Maharaj Dasarath. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Lord Ramachandra and his brothers, Lakshmana, Bharata, and Shatrugna, are all Vishnu Tattva, not Jiva Tattva. The Supreme Personality of Godhead expands into many, many forms. Advaitam Achutam Anadim Anantarupam. Although they are one and the same, Vishnu Tattva has many forms and incarnations, as confirmed in the Brahma Samhita. Ramadi Murti Shukala Niyamena Tishtan. The Lord is situated in many forms, such as Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, and Shatrugna, and these forms may exist in any part of His creation. All these forms exist permanently, eternally, as individual personalities of Godhead, and they resemble many candles, all equally powerful. Lord Ramachandra, Lakshmana, Bharata, and Shatrugna, who, being Vishnu Tattva, are all equally powerful became the sons of Maharaj Dasarath in response to prayers by the demigods. Modern Rakshasas, posing as educationally advanced, merely because they have doctorates, have tried to prove that Lord Ramachandra is not the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but an ordinary person. But those who are learned and spiritually advanced will never accept such notions. They will accept the descriptions of Lord Ramachandra and his activities only as presented by Tattva Darshis. 
those who know the absolute truth. In Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, shloka 34, the Supreme Personality of Godhead advises, Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya upadekshyanti te gyanam gyani darshinaha Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth. Unless one is Tatvadarshi in complete knowledge of the absolute truth, one cannot describe the activities of the Personality of Godhead. Therefore, although there are many so-called Ramayanas or histories of Lord Ramachandra's activities, some of them are not actually authoritative. Apparently, therefore, 5,000 years ago, there were many Ramayanas or histories of Lord Ramachandra's activities and there are many still, but we must select only those books written by Tattvadarshis, Gyaninas Tattvadarshinaha, not the books of so-called scholars who claim knowledge only on the basis of a doctorate. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Tasya Nucharitam Rajan, Rishi Bistat Vidarshi B. Shrutam hi varnitam buri, vayasita pater muhu. O King Parikit, the transcendental activities of Lord Ramachandra have been described by great saintly persons who have seen the truth. Because you have heard again and again about Lord Ramachandra, the husband of Mother Sita, I shall describe these activities only in brief. Please listen. O King, the pastimes of Lord Ramachandra were wonderful, like those of a baby elephant. In the assembly where Mother Sita was to choose her husband, in the midst of the heroes of this world, he broke the bow belonging to Lord Shiva. This bow was so heavy that it was carried by three hundred men, but Lord Ramachandra bent and strung it and broke it in the middle, just as a baby elephant breaks a stick of sugar cane. Thus the Lord achieved the hand of Mother Sita, who was equally as endowed with transcendental qualities of form, beauty, behavior, age, and nature. Indeed, she was the goddess of fortune who constantly rests on the chest of the Lord. While returning from Sita's home after gaining her at the assembly of competitors, 
Lord Ramachandra met Parashurama. Although Parashurama was very proud, having rid the earth of the royal order 21 times, he was defeated by the Lord, who appeared to be a Kshatriya of the royal order. Lord Ramachandra said to Ravana, You are the most abominable of the man-eaters. Indeed, you are like their stool. You resemble a dog, for as a dog steals eatables from the kitchen in the absence of the householder, in my absence you kidnapped my wife Sita Devi. Therefore, as Yamaraj punishes sinful men, I shall also punish you. You are most abominable, sinful, and shameless. Today, therefore, I, whose attempt never fails, shall punish you. After thus rebuking Ravana, Lord Ramachandra fixed an arrow to his bow, aimed at Ravana, and released the arrow, which pierced Ravana's heart like a thunderbolt. Upon seeing this, Ravana's followers raised a tumultuous sound, crying, Alas! Alas! What has happened? What has happened? As Ravana, vomiting blood from his ten mouths, fell from his airplane, just as a pious man falls to earth from the heavenly planets, when the results of his pious activities are exhausted, If one offends an exalted personality, especially the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one certainly becomes most abominable, bereft of the results of pious activities. One must fall down like Ravana and other demons. It is therefore advised that one transcend both pious and impious activities and remain in the pure state of freedom from all designations. Sarvopadi vinir muktam tat paratvena nirmalam When one is fixed in devotional service, he is above the material platform on the material platform, there are higher and lower positions, but when one is above the material platform, he is always fixed in a spiritual position. Sagunan samatityaitan Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate Ravana, or those like him, may be very powerful and opulent in this material world, but theirs is not a secure position, because, after all, they are bound by the results of their karma. Karmana daivanetrena. We should not forget that we are completely dependent on the laws of nature.
Lord Ramachandra became king during Treta Yuga, but because of his good government, the age was like Satya Yuga. Everyone was religious and completely happy. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. My dear King, although Kali Yuga is full of faults, there is still one good quality about this age. Simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. If people take to this Sankirtan movement of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, they will certainly be freed from the contamination of Kali Yuga, and the people of this age will be happy as people were in Satya Yuga, the Golden Age. Anyone, anywhere, can easily take to this Hare Krishna movement. One need only chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, observe the rules and regulations, and stay free from the contamination of sinful life. Even if one is sinful and cannot give up sinful life immediately, if he chants the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with devotion and faith, he will certainly be free from all sinful activities and his life will be successful. Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam This is the blessing of Lord Ramachandra, who has appeared in this age of Kali as Lord Gorasandar. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. When Lord Ramachandra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, was the king of this world, all bodily and mental suffering, disease, old age, bereavement, lamentation, distress, fear, and fatigue were completely absent. There was even no death for those who did not want it. All these facilities existed because of Lord Ramachandra's presence as the king of the entire world. A similar situation could be introduced immediately, even in this age called Kali, the worst of all ages. It is said, Kali Kale Nama Rupe Krishna Avatar. Krishna descends in this Kali Yuga in the form of his holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. If we chant offenselessly. Rama and Krishna are still present in this age. The kingdom of Rama was immensely popular and beneficial, and the spreading of this Hare Krishna movement 
can immediately introduce a similar situation, even in this Kali Yuga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Sri Sri Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman Ki Jai.